first of all, I have to thank all the nurses uh, and ophthalmologists. We, wor uh, we work 24 hours a day, every single day, and we are ready to treat traumas and endophthalmitis as soon as they arrive, even if I can tell what we are not able to do in two hours, but we try to do our best. And in Italy, endophthalmitis is still a, a big problem. I try to, to see how many cases of an endophthalmitis we saw and we did and uh, vitrectomy if the vision was under 2200 or less. And we, see, we still have a big uh, a lot of cases, at least more, more than 20 cases a year. And even because a lot of people in Rome that in summertime is very hot and in the center of Italy is very hot, they do, do not want to do, to do cataract surgery for hot because they are afraid of bar infection. We saw that there is no correlation in, in between uh, in, uh, End of Talmaitis and cataract surgery in summertime, but uh, I wanted to share also this data with you. But uh, what the, are the causes of end of Talmaitis? Almost more than 60% is cataract surgery. Not all the cases are cataract surgery, but even if you leave a stitch after a few years and take it off, you have to be care that this can be a cause of an endophthalmitis anyway. But in this 60% of endophthalmitis due to cataract surgery, just three of them were done in the same day, in the same uh, of, uh, operating room, just is the 4.5% of all the cases of endophthalmitis we saw. And the number of organisms were try to check, and in voice di uh, diapos, we have uh, the, on the left part what we saw if, uh, in the ESS study group, and this is our data, our, mostly our gram positive. We cannot reach all, the 20% the of the cases did not reach any uh, positive. We tried to do the surgery within 24 hours, and we reached to do it, in most of the cases, more than 70% in, in the same day they arrive. It does not mean that is the day we, uh, the end of the starts, because these are all patients referred to us, so we don't know when the end of the month starts. But, we saw, as you can understand, that the increase of the vision was highly if we do the surgery within one day. And we had a lot of improvement. This is a video I showed a couple of days ago in the symposium, and as Kuhn said, you have to do a very, it's very, very nice what you said, but you have to clean the cornea, clean the anterior segment, and you can see much better, even if, doesn't go, okay, this is another case, but we don't have time to, to, to show. But the reading is very friable, it's true, even we with the vacuum, is very friable, but it's the only way to let them see something. So the take home message is to do an early diagnosis, but it is not any time our chance, because if you live and work in a referral hospital, the diagnosis does as done from somebody else. But the early vitrectomy is the only way. And also it's very important that you should be lucky, that the virulence of a microorganism is not so high and you have a better result. So my suggestion is never lose time with injection and if the vision is not so good, do a, an early vitrectomy and you will have much more chance to, do, to not have problem. In our cases, we have just in 102, 20 cases, we have just two cases of a legal problem. Thank you. 121 vitrectomy. Mm. Thank you.